Hey guys, it's Vanessa and this is Bringing Up Buddhas and I am super excited because this is the first video that I'm doing with this new outlook of work-life balance and so I'm going to give you a meditation tool that you can use when you're feeling hot and bothered and I'm going to offer up a mindful, like a mindful lifestyle tip that you can use um, with your family after work. So, and I'm going to use my own life as an example because I came home from work last night feeling pretty worked up. I was, I was fiery, right? And so when my kids got home from school, I was having a hard time tuning into them. Um, I, I couldn't hear what they were saying because I had voices in my head that were working overtime. And so I looked at my kids and I was like, mama needs a break. I'm just going to go into the living room by myself for a few minutes. Don't bother me. Just leave me alone. I'm so sorry. I love you. I, I just can't deal with you right now. So they're used to, this is the way I talk with them. So they're used to this. So I go into the living room. I sit in a hardback chair and I just start to breathe and I'm breathing in and out through my nose. My belly is rising and falling and I'm starting to pay attention to what's happening inside my body where my stress is sitting inside my body physically. I'm starting to notice what's happening with my thoughts, how they're moving all over the place, and I'm starting to notice how I'm feeling emotionally. So I'm connecting to like a feeling of angst and a feeling of irritation emotionally. And so I start to just investigate that a little bit more, and I start to pay attention to it. And just by paying attention to these emotions, we automatically start to diffuse and disempower them. So the other interesting thing that happens when you pay attention to your emotions um, is that you, you offer them curiosity. And when you're curious about something, it's like you almost want it to intensify so that you can see it more clearly and so that you can understand it better and you can get a fuller picture of it. And so, again, like you're diffusing the emotion just through curiosity. It's just, it's a really interesting process, this whole mindfulness thing. And this is one of the reasons why I love it so much because um, just the, our humanness is so fascinating. So back to last night, I come back into the kitchen, like one kid's being a jerk, one kid's crying, one kid's making fun of one. I'm like, okay, okay. Like my first inclination, again, is to turn on the television because I can't deal with them. I want to turn them off. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get them out of my face. And honestly, like having the television on is kind of an out for me too because I can turn the channel mentally by turning the channel on the television. Um, but so I use my mindfulness practice once again. So here comes this um, mindful lifestyle tip. I know that the TV is calling your name. Like I know that it is so tempting to tune out as, or to, to allow the kids to tune out and just drop them in front of the television. So instead of doing that, I'm inviting you to engage in some sort of family activity that um, brings everybody in together and can spark a little joy. So for me, I love board games. Like I, I think every kid in the neighborhood has had to come over to my house and play Monopoly with me at least once. I um, love Monopoly, Risk, Connect Four, Checkers, Chess, Bargain Hunter, Life, like you name it, I love them all. So uh, what I've been doing lately is rotating board games through the kitchen so that there's constantly something that we can all play together and it reduces my urge to go turn on the television because I know that I have another way to deal with this and it's sitting right in front of me. It's this board game and I know that I love to do it and it's fun for me and it's fun for the kids. So it's a win-win really. So um, thanks to my cousin for introducing me and my family to Settlers of Catan. We're like addicted to it. <laughs> we play it all the time. And so this has been a really great buffer for me and I think for them too. Like come home from work instead of like engaging in these habitual routine behaviors like turning on the television or um, getting frustrated with the kids at each other's throats. We start to play this board game together and we have fun and we engage and I'm finding that it's impossible to text or to check my emails on my iPhone when I'm engaged in a game because there's just no opportunity. And so it's almost like um, 
like ninja stealth mindfulness playing these board games because even if you do like reach over for your phone and you're like, I'm just going to do one, just one little email and you go to check it out, you can't because the dice is rolled again and you've got to get back in the game and it's forcing you in over and over again. So it's great. Um, so maybe board games aren't your thing, but I'm sure you have a thing. So you just have to sit down and figure out what your thing is. Maybe it's cooking or gardening or reading books out loud. So um, just encouraging you to engage these quick and easy techniques as um, you try to find that better work-life balance and um, shake off all that angsty, yucky stuff when you get home. <laughs> okay, peace out.